Hey, what's up guys? This is Johan, and on this video, I'll be attempting to make a protein skimmer from a boss water bowl. Alright guys, so I attempted this uh, a couple times before where I used the boss water bottle. This is uh, one of the small ones, and I did use a big one, where I basically cut the bottom off, and then I flipped the top over drill the hole right through there so it will act as the collection cup and then I also drilled a hole um, right here so that I could put the airline tube in and then a um, lime wood stone so it will basically act as a lime wood um, protein skimmer but I want it to be a little bit more um, refined so I was just experimenting a few different things so what I'm planning on doing with uh, this Fox water bottle um, protein skimmer is using a larger one and then I'm gonna first start off by drilling a hole at the bottom just with the regular drill saws, drill hole, hole saws that we use the diamond coated ones and then um, I'm gonna insert the smaller Voss water bottle into that hole so it will act as a channel where the bubbles come up for the lime on ear stone um, and then basically create a siphon then it's going to channel it straight to the top where the collection cup is and then the water is going to come out of the smaller one go out the size of the bigger one and then come out the bottom so that is the plan that i'm working on today so hopefully it works so let's get started and see what we, what we come up with all right guys so i just want to go over a few things that i'm going to be using um it's the diamond uh hole saws so I, had, I bought this one separate, but this is an entire set, and then I bought this one separate, and also this one. Um, I'll put a link to those in the description if you want to pick some of those up. And then a drill, a Voss bottle, smaller Voss bottle, uh, some airline tubing, and a um, what's called it, a lime wood air stone. There is one more thing that I want to use, but I can't find it at the moment. It is rigid um, airline hose, air, airline hose, or um, a rigid acrylic um, hose or acrylic drinking straws. So I have basically all the holes drilled out that I wanted. Uh, the two, one for the airline and then one for the acrylic tube that I'm gonna put in here to um, just for leveling or keeping the center bottle straight inside the main bottle. And then, like I said, for the airline tubing. Uh, and then the bottom, this one, I'll show you how I did it. Um, I'll put a little clip in. It's basically taking a string, tying it around, dipping the string in some alcohol and wrap it around the bottle, send, sit in the string on fire and let it burn for a little while and then dip in the bottle in some cold water and that just cracks this. This one um, was a little bit more difficult because the glass bottom at the bottom of the, um, the bottle is a little bit thicker so I was drilling for quite a while, about five minutes basically, so it was about half an inch of glass and then it did break here. I went ahead and made sure I sand down all the edges so it won't be too rough so when I'm putting my hands in here I don't cut myself. Uh, most of the time when you are drilling with diamond cut bits 
it does sand the area but because this was such a jagged um, type of, uh, of a hole um, a lot of stuff did um, fragment off and break like hair and then like I said this big part so there was a lot of sharp edges um, that I did not want but it's because of the odd shape of the bottle of the bottle but once I sanded everything down it's all good to go so let's go ahead and start assembling this so here is the finished product um, I think it works pretty well so as you can see there is the limewood ear stone um, generates all the bu bubbles at the bottom then it rises up uh, into uh, the little chamber in the center and then all the air bubbles kind of gather, gather at the top I've been running this for about um, I think a week and a half now um, I just reset it to bring it to the front so it could be easier so I could show it off but um, what I noticed was the thicker foam it depends on your water level I usually keep my water level a little higher than this but I started to keep it a little lower so about here I just topped off the water this morning so it's a little higher but once I keep the water about here then it produces that nice thick foam that we like to see at the top and it collects and you can see it's starting to get a little brown up there so it is it is doing its job and put the tool back off uh, there you go so you can see how brown that water is, actually is and uh, the um, skim it is so it's not it hasn't really collected anything yet um, but at least it's doing there's a little bit of skim it in here and then on the top um, I have I don't have a top for the um, for the skim it, the collection cup yet so you could see how it just collected on the canopy so yeah guys it looks uh, good oh yeah um, one other thing I did uh, forget to mention when I was building it you're gonna need this uh, I added this um, you're gonna need one of these to at least adjust the amount of air you bring into the skimmer so that you could adjust your your bubble height so it gives it a little bit more adjustability and you can see I could ramp it down or turn it all the way off and open it a little bit so I did use a glass bottle but you could do the same thing with a plastic bottle um, I also added this is just a basically aluminum get a piece this aluminum um, a sheet of aluminum a skinny little piece of aluminum that I bought at the local hardware store just cut a piece of it and um, to size and so it hooks on to the to the side of the aquarium and another thing you're gonna need to is a check valve have one where is it uh, right here. <laughs> Right, so I have a check valve right there um, that just prevents 
any backflow when I turn the air the air pump off, or well, if it happens to go off due due to um, let's say a power loss or something, it doesn't um, start a siphon and overflow the water onto my floor. Yeah, so for the most part, I think I like it. Um, it does produce a little bit of bubbles in the water. Um, the fish don't mind; it's just the corals. So I mean. So that you can see all the bubbles. So um, it's still breaking in, I think. Um, and I just gotta leave it, let it run for another week or two, and then it should do its thing. All right, guys. So there you guys have it. That is my DIY Voss water bottle protein skimmer. Um, it is a little, nice little DIY project. I've been thinking about doing it for a while. Like I said before, I did do a couple of versions of it, and um, I think it turned out pretty well. Um, there's a little few little jagged edges, like when I was cutting the bottom of the bottle, um, it did crack off. Um, but that actually um, benefited me because it allows the water to be drawn somewhere else. So. Um, what I want to do with this is just let it set for another week or two um, and then let's see how it runs. I think the only thing I um, don't like about this is actually the noise. and It's due to the type of pump I'm using. It is the whisper, the blue whisper one. So I might just get a different air pump that's a little bit more quiet, quieter or more less noisy and that way I could at least have it because this is in my office and um, my office is generally quiet um, besides the, the little hum of one of the pumps that's on the um, I mean the power heads that's on the office tank you don't really hear that much noise you might hear my computer um, fans going but not too much noise yeah guys that pretty much wraps it up for this video if you like it go ahead and hit the like button down below and also remember to subscribe I'll catch you guys in the next one